Are you tired of trying to find a partner? Are you sick of being alone? Well, I'm right there with you. We're in the same boat. So all of these things I've, I've been on, I've tried, I've paid the monthly fees. I've gone through like all of the different things. And I've tried so many different sites. I've tried Bumble and Tinder and Zeusk and OkCupid and eHarmony and Tammy and Facebook dating and all of these different sites. And my personal favorite is this one. Now I know, that's funny. I think it's funny. You don't have to laugh, I'm laughing. I think it was really good. Only to know that none of them worked for me. And that was not the fault of the app or the website. That was the fault of me because I did not know what I wanted. So welcome back to my channel. I am Michelle and thank you so much for all the love and support. This is the first video coming out into 2023 and I hope for all of us that this is going to be a much better year than 2022. 2022 was a lot of things that have happened and I'm ready to forget about it. I'm ready to just move on and let's, you know, let's, let's go forward. So today's topic is how not to date as a trans woman. And I know that sounds kind of funny. I was fresh out of my divorce and my separation. And I was so desperate to find someone I did not want to be alone that I fell for a scam. Not going to tell you what I did. I'm not going to tell you how much and whatever. That's a thing of the past. That was years ago. I've learned from my mistakes. Will not happen again. However, that desperation is in most of us. And, and especially if you've been in, I was married for 20 years. Like I had a, I had my wife, I had my kids, I had my whole family. I wasn't ready to, to, to let go of, of, of that relationship of to be alone. I wasn't ready for that yet. So what I've learned over the last four years of being single is that I still don't know what I want. And what I mean by that is when I was younger, I was always, I knew who I was. I knew that I was different. I knew that I was more feminine. I knew I liked to play with, you know, dollhouses and all these different things. But I also had like the, you know, the, the male tendencies of playing with cars and matchbox, you know, matchbox cars and doing different things like that. And like, you know, boy stuff. But at the same time, I liked doing the girl stuff. And with all my friends, I couldn't do some of those things. Like, granted, we did have like a lot of, um, friends of ours growing up that were girls. So that made it a little bit easier. And you know, and we all, we all played in the neighborhood and it was, it was, it was fun. That was a lot of fun. Yes. I get comments. You get different things. You get different chats happening, but those chats often lead to ghosting dick pics. And, and most of the time is just catfishing. Like send me a gift card. Uh, I haven't tried grinder, but I hear that that one's not for dating. Now this is very subjective because not everyone has the same tastes, preferences, desires, you know, and, and coming out of, of my relationship and coming out of 20 years of marriage, I was not ready to let go. So I was so desperate to find something and try to force it. Now I had made a post, um, I'll put it right here. I had made a post on in my Instagram channel. If you do want to check it out, here is the link. Um, and on that I made a post about, you know, relax, let life happen. You know, the more you try to force it, the, the more resistance, the more, more pushback you're going to get from life. Just let things happen. Don't try to force a relationship. Don't try to force yourself into something just because you think you, you don't want to be alone. Now I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Okay. I hated being alone. The thought of being alone was the scariest thing on the planet to me. And I did not want to experience this. I was together with someone for so long that I did not know how to be independent. I didn't know that I was capable of doing these things. And guess what? I am, you are, you, we all are. We just don't realize it. I've been single now for four years. Now I'm not saying this is the way to go, but this is my preference as of right now. The longer I've been now single, the more I realize that I am independent. I can do things myself. I don't need this other person to make me feel better about myself. You know, do I miss having that 
that connection, the bond with someone? Sure, who doesn't? I mean, of course, we're 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 human. Our our human nature is to be, you know, to to want to feel wanted and loved and and to have a connection with with somebody else that you can share and make memories with. Absolutely. But at the same time, you know, I'm still trying to figure out I'm still trying to figure out me. You know, I had I had 36 years to figure out this other person, this other me, this other side of me, you know, and this person right here, you know, I, I, I've had 36 years to figure this person out. It's my time. It's my turn to figure out who I am. And if I can't figure out who I am, and if I don't know who I am, how do I know what I want? So being on hormones, hormones, I consider myself bi, but I always had that uh, thought, kind of like in the back of my head, you know, do, do I like men? Do I like women? And being on the hormones has kind of changed my mentality uh, quite, a, quite a bit, way more than I expected. Um, I also do have a video, uh, I'll put the link right here, to hormones and the different effects that it has. Being on the hormones changed my mentality quite a bit. And I now get confused sometimes. Like, I don't know what I want. You know, do I do I want to be with a woman? Do I want to be with a man? I've never been with a man. So I, I don't know. And that kind of terrifies me. Like, it scares me to death. And, you know, I get messages and I get different things. And, and I run away and I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I'm a chicken. And most days I feel conflicted and until I can figure out and maybe I'll never figure out. And that's what makes it so challenging. But that's why also I don't want to force it into something that I'm not ready for. While being on the dating sites, I've tried it a couple of different ways and I've tried different techniques. Like in my description, I'll put that I'm a trans woman and I'm looking for a long-term relationship. Now, what I found with that one is one you get a lot of weird messages. And two, I feel like I'm some kind of social experiment. Like they want to find out and they ask a whole bunch of questions all about transgender people. And then all of a sudden, poof, they're gone. I never hear from them again. Then I've tried other ways where I don't put that I'm a transgender woman. I will meet with people and I will talk and everything goes great. And then the second I tell them, oh, you know, by the way, I'm a transgender woman. Oh, suddenly, ooh, look at the time I got to go. So it's extremely hard. It's extremely frustrating. And as a trans woman, it is so hard to find someone that can accept you for you. There are so many exceptions out there. I see so many happy stories of people that have these wonderful, you know, connections with people. Um, you know, there's someone that I, I, you know, I've been following on Instagram and, and I'll put her link right here. Um, you know, go, go, you know, you can always go check her out and she just met someone and she's super happy. Like it happens, like things like that happen and you hear stories about it all the time. And that's fantastic. Like that's what's, that's what it's all about is making that connection. Not all hope is lost. I'm not saying that, you know, woe is me. And I'm not saying that that's the route to be single, but you need to make sure that you figure out and understand what you want. If you don't know what you want, how do you know what to look for? So make sure to leave some comments down below. Like and subscribe to my channel. If you'd like, this is my Instagram. You can also check that out as well. I post daily on there, sometimes more than once or twice a day because, you know, I get obsessed. So I'll try to keep this video short. I don't want to make these long, crazy videos that are 20 minutes long because I've noticed that most of the time the video is just kind of you know, people lose interest and it just, nobody wants to listen to me ramble. I mean, some of you do. Great. I'm here for you. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Thank you all so much for your love and support to my channel. Um, we've definitely hit that 500 subscriber milestone. And I, I'm so grateful for